Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. So, yes, you have noticed I've started doing these tutorials more often, uh, mostly because some of my old older tutorials are a bit outdated now, so um, I'm going to start making a few newer tutorials. But anyways, this tutorial is on gravity, okay? Um, so I'm going to show you how to make anti-gravity things and high gravity objects, so uh, when your player is in the game he can start jumping really high, or or they won't be able to jump much at all if the gravity is really high. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, first we're going to need a part. I'm going to right click on in the workspace, insert object, uh, part. There we go. Um, this is going to be the part when the player touches this brick they will become, they will have anti-gravity, okay? So we will do that. Um, next we're going to insert a spawn. Okay, so right click in Right, I'm going to make this purple, and I'm going to anchor it, and I'm going to anchor this brick as well. I'm going to make this brick green. Lovely. Okay then. Now what we need to do is we need to put a, brick, a script into the brick. Okay, so right click the brick, insert script, insert object script. Okay. Now, this is just a way of getting the... Um, of getting the body force into the player because to make somebody have anti-gravity we need to stick something called body force into them into their torso and uh, just touching a brick is one of the is a good way of getting that anti-gravity uh, body force into them um, <coughs> right so script dot parent dot touched whoops dot touched connect function and we need to give it parameter hit. Okay. Um, so now, when a person touches it, we need to t t uh, detect if that person is a he is a is a Robloxian, because it might be a it might be a car that drives into this brick, and we don't want to make cars have no gravity. We want to just make humans, uh, Robloxians, have anti gravity uh, in them. Okay. So if hit dot parent find first child. Now this is just a standard way of detecting if somebody is a is a person or not. Just seeing if they have a humanoid inside their inside their model. That's just a standard way of doing this. Um, so now we know that they are a Robloxian. We can start to make local body force equals instance dot new body force. Now this is a really simple script really. Um, just make a body force really and stick it into a player. Um, so, instance of body force, uh, we're going to stick it into hit dot parent dot torso. Uh, so that's where we're putting it into. We're putting it into their torso. Um, body force dot force equals. Uh, let's see, vector three dot new. Now the force of this body force is a vector, is a vector three value. So we need to give it a value of. Let's see. I'll we'll start off with zero zero zero. So we want the player to be forced in the up direction to give them an anti-gravity feel okay so if we if we f if we put a force on the player so that the force goes into the up direction then that means that when the player jumps they're going to have more of a it's going to bring them higher up okay but their weight is still going to be greater than the up force we need to make sure that is true so we need to make sure that the player's weight is greater than the up force Okay, so if we give them uh, an up force of I don't know three thousand, um, I don't know what it's measured in, but let's just say it's three thousand. Um, the up force is now three thousand, but let's say that the down force of the player is is roughly about four thousand five hundred. The the down force of a player is roughly about four thousand five hundred. Um, okay, in this scale. So we're going to test this. So technically, if I were to make three thousand, if I were to make that five thousand, then the player would automatically start moving upwards without even having to jump. So we don't want that. We want them to just have an anti-gravity feel. Okay. So three thousand is enough. Right. And you can keep playing around with that number if you want. You don't have to keep it at three thousand. Just play around with it. Right. So I'm a player. What would they do? I'm going to touch the brick. Oh, look at that. Oh crap. Oh no. Oh no. That no. That's too much. That is too much. Hold on. Okay, maybe I was wrong with the values. Crikey, that is a lot. 
Oh, I see. Oh, no, that's because it put two forces into me. So the overall up force is now 6,000, uh, which is more than the 4,500 which I stated. So to prevent two forces going into me, we need to do, again, standard validation. So enabled equals true. Okay. If they are a player and enabled equals true, we're going to set enabled equals false straight away so that they can't pass this validation check again um, so that only one force gets inserted into them and then we're going to wait three seconds before another force can be inserted into them and then after that three seconds we're going to set enable to true again so that they can pass the validation okay so yeah that's how you do it just that's that I'm going to explain it again afterwards but anyway I'm a player he let's go touch the brick Oh, look at that. I've touched the brick. I've now got a body force in my torso. Okay. Force is 3000 in the y direction. Therefore, when I jump, then I'm going to go higher. Look at that. Oh, look at that. You see that? I'm going higher now. I have I am I am on the moon. You see? Now, if I stop that, let's say I make this 4000 let's go back into the place more force is now exerted onto me when I touch the brick in the y direction you see that I floated a little bit when I went over the brick as well let's see I'm jumping you see that yeah, and it takes longer for me to come down now because the more force is exerted on me in the uh, y direction okay now what I want to show you something cool is the so as I was saying the force of the player um, in fact that is with my hats on as well because hats do exert a force in the down direction um, so my player for instance has I don't know about roughly about 4550 ish or 70 ish uh, force in the, in the down direction so if I make that equal ish if I make the f y direction force upwards force equal ish to the down direction force then my player will be just floating and they will never come down they will come down eventually but after a very long period of time so you see I'm just I'm floating now actually no I think that force is higher than no I think I'm, I'm accelerating upwards now but anyway so you get it just playing play play around with that figure and see what sort of anti-gravity things you can come up with and another cool thing is to do if you want the player to have more gravity like say they're on Jupiter um, and the, there's a lot of gravity, there's, there's a very high gravity field uh, strength on uh, Jupiter um, you want to, to, to put the uh, body force y, y uh, direction of the body force to a down direction so that we are now adding to the downwards force of the player so when they jump they're not going to go as high because we're pushing a force, a negative force on that player okay so let's make that negative 2000 minus 2000 okay now we play the game and I touch the brick and if I try jumping you see you see it, it feels like there's a lot of force on that player now and in fact if I make that number even stronger let's say I make that minus 5000 okay or for some people negative 5000 because some people don't like thing minus right you see that Ooh, look at that whoa I'm jumping very low now the, the force is pushing down on me very very hard okay and let's make that minus 15,000 I just want to try this out and oh wow look at that you see I can not I can barely even jump now I can barely even jump okay now what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to make a rocket because uh, I feel like it so let's take this script away and I'm going to turn this green block into some sort of cool rocket ship in fact it's not going to be a rocket, it's just going to be something random um, it's just going to be a base plate actually no, I'm going to turn it into a rocket right here we go we need an entrance bear with me while I make my rocket I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the uh, recording while I make the rocket. Okay. Okay, I'm back now. Um, as you can see, I've made a really bad rocket. Um, 
Oh, crikey. I'm not even proud of this. I, just, I had to make it quickly, though, uh, for the sake of the tutorial. So, this is some sort of box. And inside the box, I have a vehicle seat here. And I have two buttons. One is called Go, which is the yellow one. One is called Stop, which is the red one. Um, when I sit in the vehicle seat, I'm going to click the Go button. That is going to push the rocket upwards, and we're going to fly. And then the Stop one is going to stop the force from going up. So it's like, it's like having... Um, thrusters on the bottom of the rocket is going to stop going up. Okay, um, right, so let's do it. Uh, in fact, I need to call this the bottom of the rocket base and I need to stick that into my model of the buttons. Okay, because inside the base I'm going to insert an object and it's going to be body force or it could be body thrust. Um, you can play around with all these sort of things. So you've got body position, body thrust, body velocity. Play around with them, see the properties of them. Uh, obviously, in this tutorial, I'm just teaching you about body force, but uh, play around with the other ones as well, see what you can do. Um, so, yes, I'm going to set that to 000, zero, zero vector, um, body force. So, in the model, I'm going to insert a script. Okay. And I'm going to say script.parent.go.clickdetector.mouseclick. Uh, connect function. Uh, I think you get the player, but I don't. I don't really need the player. But we're gonna. It does pass in the parameter of the player, so we're just gonna keep. In fact, I'm just gonna have a look at that if it does that. Uh, click detector. Mouse click. Yeah, it gives the player who clicked the button. Anyway, <coughs> I don't need that anyway. So if we click the go, then we're gonna say that script dot parent dot dot. Oh, Base dot body force dot force equals uh, vector three dot new zero ten thousand zero and let's copy that down here as well. So when they click the stop button, so we're just going to change the word go to stop. Uh, then the force is now zero. Okay, and yeah, that's all you need to do. Um, now you could make a variable called body force up here, set it equal to this, and then so you don't have to keep getting body force each time, but yeah, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to do it quickly. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test it. So I'm just going to click test, play, and let's go into here and see what happens. Oh, click go. Okay, nothing happens. Now, I'm not sure if the force is not enough. Yeah, it does set the force to 10,000, but I don't think that's enough. So I'm going to go back to the script and set it to something like 90,000 and we're going to click play again and see if that is enough. Okay, let's go in. No, 90,000 is not enough either. What about if I put like 150,000? Come on, surely that has got to be enough. Okay, ready? Even that is not hold on. Let me just let's go into the model. And let me set that to like three hundred fifty thousand. Even that's not enough. Crikey, what is going on? Nine hundred fifty. Oh, cr yeah, that is enough. Okay then. So in the script, I'm going to set it to something like eight hundred fifty thousand. So it don't go up too fast. I'm going to click play, and let's see if eight hundred fifty thousand shall be enough. Here we go, look at that. Whoa, we're, go we're accelerating. We're at speed. One th oh, 1,000 speed, 1,000 speed. Okay, let's click stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, speed is now, we're now decelerating. We're now decelerating because the weight is now uh, higher, is now greater than the up force. And now we're, we're going down. We're going down at a speed of 500, 600, 700, 800. Whoa. Here we go, here we go. We're going to crash through the base plate now. We're going to come and come for a crash landing. Here we go, here we go. Whoa. Okay, that's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. We just we just collided with the base plate, and uh, yeah, now we're going back down. Okay, so play around with that, people. See what you can do. And we're going to collide again. Whoa. Okay, no, that is not good. That is not good. If that happened in real life, that would not be good. Okay, I can't even. I can't get to the click button. I can't get to the. There we go. I click the button now. I've clicked the button. Okay, we're now accelerating upwards. Okay, then. So. Yeah, play around with that. See what you can do with the body force. Um, make some cool things: anti-gravity gunfights, rocket ships flying, and make some good games. And yeah, if you make a good game and it gets to the front page, then let me know because I wanna, uh, I wanna see your, your game uh, if it got to the front page for my tutorial. So um, 
Yeah, if you watch my tutorials and your game gets to the front page because you followed some of the instructions in my tutorials, then that'll, that'll be pretty cool. Uh, just leave a comment or even send me a message. Um, so yes, make sure you like the video, leave a comment, follow me on Twitter at PeacePodRBLX. I'll be you know keeping you updated on new tutorial videos. So you can even make suggestions on tutorial videos that you want me to make. I think the next one that I'm going to make is an animation tutorial suggested by somebody. Um, so your animation will be coming next, and uh, and if you want to leave a suggestion, then yeah, do so. Please do so. Leave a suggestion. Okay then, I'll be going. Goodbye, people. Goodbye.